Hello, and welcome back to Caves of Cud. This is going to be a special episode. Um, I'll explain why. As we go back to the Moonstair, I know we're going back already. Um, I was looking through my, uh, some stuff like, you know, I, I have to kind of semi-spoil myself because I, I do want to understand what certain stuff is before I go, you know, hunting goose, as it were. Um, but I, I was looking through uh, a, a variety of things and semi-spoiling some things. And I found out what getting dream crungled means. This guy is really fast. Why are we, are we just like very slow right now? No, we have 240 move speed and this guy's like keeping up with us. Which is kind of wild. Guy or white apostle. Let's just put our force bubble up. Um, I did. I, I visited Eat Freehold and replenished our um, metamorphic polygels. I'm still thinking on that a little bit here and there. But the, yeah, I came across an interesting thing, um, which was that if your dream crumbled. I like that our force field got eaten up by uh, the time vortex. Ooh, we almost got swallowed ourselves. Oh, that's a, that's about to explode. I, I mean, they might. <clears throat> they have the potential to explode. When you dream crungled, something very interesting happens. I have sort of semi looked at it myself. You'll have to forgive me if I don't necessarily feel compelled to get shot by every beam. Oh, that's gonna... Uh, they're, they're looking like they're gonna get very close. Ah, Boo! Oh, we're no longer on good terms with uh, Isakari. Wow, we're back here. Of all the ways to end up back here. Um, but yeah, what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to intentionally Dream Krungle myself. We're going to get crungled. Um, there's a very specific reason for that. It's a little bit exploitative, although not that exploitative. It's actually very risky. Extremely risky, in fact. Um, there's a good chance that if we fail, if I fail my mission here, then our character will be very slightly, but still irrevocably altered forever in a negative way for sure like it's it's not good but um i'll only talk of the negatives after we've done this i guess we are also facing down um psychic presences i didn't intend for that to be the thing where are they oh i see they're in the center oh they're a dromad your attack fails to penetrate oh no they're good they're taking some very low damage all things considered. Um, they're just on their own. This could actually be really dangerous. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I should get rid of Temporal Fugue. I'll use it here, but it's not actually serving me all that much. It's good. Don't get me wrong. I like it. Ah, gee whiz. Uh, sure, just hit the top recoiler. It's fine. We're right back where we were. Uh, I just want to find a crungle. A crungler. I wonder if this guy is... These uh, tortoises really are a pain in the butt, aren't they? This guy's still injured. He didn't really recover all that much. Well, at least they came with me this time. At least they had the good decency to come with me. Well, that bat really just got flung into deep space, didn't they? Ow. Ow, they actually hurt me. Oh, those, uh, those are getting pretty close. Did they escape my wrath again? Good God. Good God, that tortoise is really, really evading all of my business. 
I was hoping to get some experience from killing it, but whatever. Um, we don't have a crungler on this screen. So I'm just gonna move on. We'll wait. Um, whoops. Wrong. All of those are wrong. All of those are wrong. All of them. Oh, I guess we can't wait because we can see a end dimensional tortoise. We'll come over here. Um, I'm hoping we find a dream crungle, but they seem to be evading me for the time being. I've had so many opportunities to do this and um, very much passed them all up. But wouldn't it be f this is this would seem like such a good way, a fun way of um, basically achieving um, something very specific. Uh, there's lots of tortoises. Lots of tortoises on the screen, no crunglers. Okay, uh, anything on here? Nope. Well, uh, I didn't really intend or expect this to be the major problem. The major problem was going to be what happens when we find one. We found a psychic presence. Well, we may as well, uh, fight them. If we level up off of fighting psychic assassins, I'll definitely accept that. It's another gel. We're getting very lucky with these gels. Wow, they died instantly. Well, not instantly, but very... We They died on one uh, Sundermind. What is that? Entropy Cyst. It has one dram of warm static. That is actual static and not just like the dilute warm static. If I could get over there um, and collect that, that would actually be really cool. I would appreciate that. Hello, uh, Zero Gel. We're going to be doing much the same here. Oh, yeah, I, I bought some more. I, between episodes, please assume that basically I'm buying metamorphic polygel or metamorphic polygels, metamorphic cores and AI microcontrollers. Um, all of those are things that I are, am constantly replenishing. Port nearby, north of me. Port nearby, north of me. I didn't mean to do that. Sometimes, sometimes I do be struggling with things. I accidentally equipped a water skin. Poor nearby north of me. Poor nearby north of me. Poor nearby north of me. I wish there was kind of a shorthand for this. Just like, you know, move 500 rams to this tile pour oh, i guess i no i can't pour nearby collect liquid so we got an entropy cyst really didn't realize that that was something we could get but we got some actual warm static i uh i didn't realize like the method of actually collecting warm static is uh is interesting to me <clears throat> i guess if we fought more zero gels we could get more of those but uh, i don't really feel like doing that as you can see they hit pretty hard i just want to get my clairvoyance back another psychic presence huh what is it this time uh we got another banana grove rancher they seem to be trapped inside a crystal fortress. I, they don't have any means of leaving it either. Oh, they have temporal uh, dilation. Nice of them. But that's not going to be enough to kill them or to, to escape me. Is there anything? Did they drop anything cool? Human corpse. No, not really. I don't know if we can become on good terms with Seekers of the Sightless Way such that we are no longer hunted by... Their kind. Ooh, we have a legendary deep slumberling. Interesting. We're on good terms with bears, so we should be able to talk to them. 
I don't know if waking them is such a good idea. Hated by oozes. Hated by oozes, huh? Uh, I'm on good terms with oozes. I don't really need to... Oh, did I? Whoops. You feel a bit glitchy. Oh no, did... Oh no, did I get dilute? Did I get entropied? Oh no. I didn't notice. Um, well, we're still... We have the effects of a Sphinx Salt Tonic right now. That's not bad. Or inspired, but we have... We're Dilute Entropic. Okay, let's, um, let's eat a meal. Cannot do that while waiting. Why am I waiting right now? Uh, cook from recipe. Um... Whenever you drink fresh water, there's a 25% chance. Actually, let's real quick. Choose ingredients. Star apple jam and um, pickled mushrooms. Nope, none of those. So then we'll just cook from recipe because uh, I really kind of only get one chance there. Control F Y. Fresh water. Do we only have 13 drams? We only have 13 drams. Well, that's no good. H, K. Um, I, I suppose we could also clean ourselves off. Yeah, that seems to clean up the uh, warm static. Hmm. We have an uh, unfortunate effect on us, and I don't. I guess that's the Sphinx Salt Tonic effect. I don't have to be that worried about it. Still not seeing a Dream Crungle. Sense of vast animus. It's been a while since we've seen just a normal, everyday vast animus. We have a Chrome Pyramid. Which is a bit scary, but no, the only thing that we care about is this vast animus here. Okay, they're dead. Still haven't gotten an extra ego. I wouldn't mind, um... Is the Dromad already dead? Is that like a ton of stuff sitting there from a Dromad dying? It's kind of hard to tell. Oh no, I see the Dromad. Your mind clouds over once again. There's some stuff happening here for sure. Uh, Chrome Pyramid is doing something. Why are they fighting the... Okay, I don't think I want to be in this. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I don't want to be anywhere near any of that. I am just like having the hardest time finding a Dream Crungle. Oh my god! Chrome What you're not mad at me, are you? That chrome pyramid scared the living bejesus out of me. They were they were acting real sus. Okay, we've got a bunch of things going on here. I cannot find for the life of me cannot find a uh, crungler this is that was supposed to be the easy part because I was finding so many of them I guess I could just fight some tortoises but I don't uh, the, the crungle was gonna be much more fun all right let's um 
Let's shoot some tortoises while I'm here. They do take a lot of damage to kill. It's kind of insane, actually. There's so many time vortexes. This is so dangerous. Wounded. Wounded. Come on. Badly wounded. Soon? I actually missed. Badly wounded. They don't seem to be moving. Oh, finally. 900. One more of those would level me up. This isn't how I wanted things to go at all. Sometimes that is how it is. Kind of want to like fully explore the moon stair. It's a fun place. No, I thought for a second there we had some dream cr dream crungles, but no, just tortoises. Oh, can't can't wait when there's tortoises on the screen. We can go over here. Oh, no, we can't. It's blocked. Okay, well, um, I'm just going to kill the next tortoise I see. It's just going to have to be how it goes, unfortunately. We got some... I mean, I could kill a Unimax. I think they're pretty rough, actually. They can be, but I mean, we got we got our force bubble and temporal fugue. There we go. So we do get an attribute point. We will put that on intelligence. We are finally level 29. We can take tinkering three. I know it's it seems like a lot right for one skill we could learn how to make small sphere of negative weight that's kind of fun honestly i'm at the point where i could make small spheres of negative weight um okay so now Let's go back to Eid Freehold. Well, let's wait for our temporal clones to disappear first. Okay, then we'll go back to Eid Freehold. Go in our chest here and we will learn everything. We have all of the information. We, we could learn how to, we could make a time cube. I guess I learned how to make tread guards. Sure, why not? But we're not done yet. I also bought um, some other ones, like Morphogenic. Can't remember what these do. I think these um, take up a, a floating point spot. I can't remember. I think that's what it does. Maybe not, actually. Reinforce. I think I already learned this one. Yeah, I already know that. I did learn how to make pre precision nano on fingers. These are going to be important. Okay, so that's a lot of things we just learned. Um, what we would, what I'd like to do, do we have, we don't have the means yet. We don't yet have the means for what I wanted to do. So we're actually going to have to do some ruin diving, believe it or not. Some actual legitimate, normal ruin diving. You'll see, you'll see soon enough why. I have a plan. My plan is pretty simple. I need to... Oh, wait, no, I don't need to do that. Why? Why? why no, I do. I do need to do that. Wait a minute. Sorry, no, I, I keep... I keep realizing there's a better way. Okay, hold on a second. 
We need to reacquaint ourselves with an old friend. The traveling gaw of Hanapur. I'm gonna take this. We're gonna take this to Ezra. We're gonna learn how to make it. We learn psychometry. Um, we'll go to our missile weapons and imbibe read the early history too complex for you to decipher its method of construction wow we don't know we can't make a we, we can't learn with how to make one with like uh what what are we at here for our psychometry 10 level 10 psychometry isn't enough to learn how to make a chain laser turret gun huh wild okay well uh back to plan a um i want to learn how to make a chain laser reason being i think that that would be a, a wonderful means of using nanon to dismember uh critters and and all kinds of things um they're not super uncommon. We just need to find a chain laser turret and then I need to disarm it. That's really it. Um, so I'm doing some ruin diving and we're on the hunt for a chain laser turret. I could just like make a uh, spiral borer, but you know, what's the fun in that? I, I hear someone out there like, what's the fun in that? He says, now, conveniently. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Um, we'll just be using clairvoyance occasionally. Wow, okay, this could be the floor. There must be a legendary over there. There's no legendary over there. It's just a lot of stuff. Why is there so much stuff over there? This could very well be the floor where we find a chain laser turret because there's a lot of turret tinkers. Chain gun turret tinker, low light laser, low light laser. We can let them do their thing. I'll just keep clairvoyance on whenever I can. It's a bit of a mess of a floor, I won't lie. Okay, we got a lot of chain lasers, not much else going on. Um, there is a part on the ground. There was a, uh, there was a saw hander in that mess. So, you know, there were parts. Um, we got a turret tinker. That's what we want. We want a, a late chain laser turret tinker. This is a low light laser tur turret tinker. They could be the same, but generally speaking, it's n that's not the one. Forgot we're not on good terms with mollusks. Um, what aren't we on good terms? I guess the ants. I was just thinking like, oh, I'd like to just root through this trash. So I'm just gonna like spend a moment on each floor, have a look around for uh oh this that looks like a promising one. Is that what we're looking at? Chain gun turret tinker, not chain laser. We want chain laser specifically. Vast animus. We will be fighting vast animuses occasionally. That's just going to happen. Um we have a sad, the sad bear. Is the sad bear an ally? Clone of sad Amos and psychic thrall. I was actually thinking that uh, sad Amos wouldn't be a bad candidate for our golem. Let me just have a quick look here. If we do the sad Amos, I'm pretty sure it makes it human. Um... We could make it a clone of ourselves. Let me just do a, a quick search here. Sad. Yeah. So clone of sad Amos the Skybear would make it a human golem. 
which I know is really boring, but I kind of wouldn't mind just doing that because it really kind of like navigates around the problem of, you know, not having hands potentially. Um, and then we could, you know, we know for sure we can use our, our guns and stuff like there's a lot of problems with using basically anything else. There's a uh, benefits as well, for sure. But I just like, you know, I, I'm just trying to think of like how I want my first golem experience to go. Um, there are options. Sad Amos is a candidate. I think I'd like to do I'd like to do that. Uh, at least I'd like to make friends with them and then put them somewhere as an option. My mental attack failed. No, it didn't fail. Okay, there we go. Um, actually, where <laughs> where's that sad Amos is right now? Is a pretty good containment for <laughs> for where uh, you know it's a it's a good option. You know what I love to do here, right? Uh, let's just go ahead and. Uh, Make ourselves a programmable recoiler. Love, love this, honestly. And we'll shove a, I guess an antimatter cell in it, imprint it. I wish I could rename it. Subterranean ruins. Uh, can we rename it? add notes i'll add notes um location of sad amos so i guess it only displays them if i look at it right yep okay well that's fine um well this place isn't it, it has something of, of value but you know we're just gonna go ahead and ignore it for now we have a candidate. We need low. We need laser ch uh, chain laser turrets. Uh, Mercurial is also an option, but it's an option for uh, parts. Like if we could break parts off of the that Mercurial, then that would be really good. This is a very busy floor. There seems to be a lot of warfare going on in these ruins getting some more low light laser turrets nothing uh much else of interest chain turrets um yeah i mean it's gonna be this for a little bit we're only 10 strata deep. It's probably going to be a, a few more strata before we find anything better. <clears throat> what do we got here, though? Chain gun turret tinker, not chain laser. Shoot. We continue downwards. This is like, honestly, I think this is like the first time we've actually done some genuine ruin diving in this playthrough. We've got a waveform worm. Not a huge fan of waveform worms. We've got a containment or phase spider. Uh, we seem to be on good terms with waveform worms, interestingly. I guess we were on good terms with worms. Right, we were on good terms with worms. It was just because we were at a historic site and those those worms were part of a cult. Chain gun, dynamic turret tinker. Dynamic turret tinker might do, might, might give us a chain laser. The reason I'm not using my old chain uh, laser tur uh, gun, by the way, is because it's already full on mods. Like it, it's already fully stocked. So we can't put nanon on it and that's the idea is we want to put nanon we want to put nanon on it so that it has the option of dismembering those those robots really are bad about placing turrets 
and then dying to their own turrets. Oh, there we go. There it is. There we go. Chain laser turret. Here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and swipe. Did I get it? I did get it. We got our jacked chain laser. This also solves the problem of me having to apply jacks onto it myself, which is kind of nice. Um, we do have a partial nana. Yeah, we got, we got a, we got a good bit there. Let's just go ahead and destroy everything else. Could let him do his thing, but eh, we're good. So now let's go to this and, um, no, we go down here. We go to our jacked chain laser. We mod with tinkering. So what I kind of wanted to do was like either fit it with split beam splitter or do like overloaded uh no that makes it break i, I kind of wanted to add like um liquid cooled would be kind of fun increases the w of fi uh, rate of fire basically i just want to make it like insane like it has it, it shoots a lot um we could just add nanon for the time being five to six percent chance to dismember on penetration that's what we want oh we can't tinker but there's apparently hostiles nearby it's probably this guy here that i decided not to kill now he's making things harder for me i gained 72 xp from that apparently wow when did i get a light rail okay so back to mod with tinkering so we add nanon so we can only add one more thing um it probably should be scoped if i'm being honest because the idea here is that it shoots multiple times i don't have to add extra fire rate to it right like that that part is pretty covered so let's just add scope so that it lands more shots then we go to um what i want to do is make precision nanon fingers these are gloves uh, if you watch the nerf playthrough, you know exactly what, you know, where this is going. Um, but basically these improve the odds of a percentage basically landing. We're also going to give these jacked. And why not? Let's give, uh, it costs an 8-bit. Those are the, one of the few bits we're kind of not flush with. I kind of want to give them six-fingered. For the extra agility but it's only the one agility so never mind we'll put an antimatter cell on them why not um so we uh equip these and we lose a little bit of av but now what is it uh what is these what do they say doubles your chance three times is likely to occur so that means our our like five to six percent chance goes up to a 15 percent chance I'm just waiting some turns. Oh yeah, three more seconds. Three seconds. Is it? There we go. So now we have a 15% ch chance on every single landed hit or landed pen to basically dismember. Um, so that leaves us with a lot of options. <laughs> like, you know, uh, let's just go ahead and wait oh we have to equip the gun right can we do this while we're standing in front of something yeah wow that like instantly destroyed them uh we could like try and get ourselves uh some spider parts for example there, there we go there's a spider part <clears throat> Um, uh, we could get ourselves a human mechanimus part. Who is this? Mechanimus preacher and pariah to his people. Sure, let's let's get a part off them. Did, uh, well, this thing is doing a very good job of killing. See, one of the reasons I wanted to get a like chain laser turret is because it's pretty good but it's not as good as like the gun we have been using so it, it has a good chance of penning but it doesn't uh the hope is that it doesn't like just 
kill everything. I want it to dismember. This is a very brutal uh, quest that we're on right now. We could get a, a whale part, or urchin belcher's right fin. And like, I just want to get a lot of variety, you know, like I, I'm going for breadth here. Ooh, and you know, we could get a, ourselves a, um, Cragmensch part. There we go. Yeah, so we're just like, and this is why I, I waited so long, like, there are, uh, there are a lot of ways we could do this, but a lot of them would have been tedious and I had other things I wanted to do. So it's like, you know, I, I just feel like no matter what I was going to be waiting, but this was going to be the most fun way of doing this specifically. Let's, let's get ourselves a waveform worm. And like the reason I want variety is because every single creature that we take apart from um let's get this here gelatinous prism pseudopod for example uh if they have a mutation then i'm pretty sure the part that we offer the golem has a chance like it, it, we have we get that mutation By the way, traipsing mortar is one of the options. I was thinking about this. We could make our robot a bipedal ro robot golem. Um, and traipsing mortar is actually one of our options. We could, um, we could make traipsing, uh, we could make it a bipedal robot. I, I'm, I'm a little, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. It could be cool, but you know, I don't know if it has hands is really the thing that I don't like. The thing that worries me about that is I don't know if the bipedal robot has hands. I know it has two feet. <laughs> we know for sure the bipedal robot has two feet, but what can be said about their hands? Are you still mad at me? Yeah, you are. All right. Well, there's always, there's always other traipsing mortars. Let's just go downstairs. Like we could uh, grab a part off of a saw hander. I don't know if that offering a part from like different saps gives you the ability to like sap, but um, I think sapping is like a specific Mutation it might be Um getting a robot to join you by the way is isn't actually super easy Okay, so we've got some parts. What is this resonance grenade we can we can disassemble that Actually, I wouldn't mind disassembling this light rail I mean we got some robot parts we got all kinds of parts ouch Um, so let's go to Barathrum study Which I always have a hard time finding there it is And then let's have a look our atmos options So um, worker ants right foreleg would be corrosive gas or heightened hearing spider webs eh. Plus five strength from laser turrets. Yeah, if they don't have a mutation, then they just offer uh, a random extra attribute. Urchin belching at level six. Waveform at level 10. Now that's an interesting one. That's a really cool one because that means you could like do their cool kind of like waveform zoot. Uh, I actually really like that option. Let's, um, I'm going to start dumping these into a chest. But, like, the, the plan now is to, you know, go and acquire parts, um, acquire liquids, and consider a potential, um, 
Actually, we don't want to, we don't want to put that in there. This is only for golem parts. Consider a potential body, you know, for our um our golem. There's a lot of options and uh hard to consider all of them. I kind of want to make it a human. I I don't think I don't know if that'll work for every, you know, y'all, but um I don't know. I just I really want to use the swarm rack. It just it even if it's not as good as I think it is. I just want to be able to use it. It would be so good to be able to use a swarm rack. Um So like, you know, that's that's really just it. That's all that's all I got, really. What do we, what do we got here? Who's uh who's say like, oh, another banana ranch. Why is it always a banana ranch? Wait, are there two of them? There's two of them. They're taking some nasty damage from the traipsing mortar. Ooh, they make they make portals, huh? Oh, right. This is our first, like, multiple hunters in one go. Um, we may as well use our stinger. It's been a while. They gave me this convenient, uh, pipeline. Actually, why don't we try and get some extra dimensional parts? I think you... There's like extra things for cooking with extra dimensional parts. I can't remember what you get. <laughs> well, we have lots of extra parts, don't we? Oh my God. Ah, did they all disappear? You take the bloody extra dimensional sun dried banana. I got some extra dimensional sun dried banana. We sure did. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know what that does. I can't remember what extra dimensional does. Adds artifact based effects to cooked meals. This item recently materialized in this dimension, having inherited some properties from its home dimension, the Forsaken Nonagon. Okay, well, that was fun. I was... Oh, we have more psychic presence. Maybe we can act... Oh, another banana rancher. This, uh... This zone is actually much fuller than it looks it's just really hard to see everything because there's a lot of saps and they're all blue let's try again ah uh, you also have temporal fugue tell you what bud i can also do that so why don't you go ahead and fight my clones I guess there is a geomagnetic a loud buzz is emitted the failure glyph flashes on the side of the geomagnetic disc why is that oh it's because i have a force field on that's why but yeah um I don't know. I'm curious about what y'all think. I I can't guarantee it would affect my decision because at the end of the day, I'm probably I've already made the decision by the time you've seen this. Oh, let's go and collect those parts before they disappear. This is this is a lot. Okay, they all disappeared. Does that mean the parts also disappeared? No, I got to collect their feet. <laughs> Very good.
Is that is that lad running from me? I just I just want parts from you, okay? Where'd they go? They disappeared. I think they are were afraid of me. Okay, um, this seems like a pretty good place to leave it. Actually, just before we go, I'm, I'm a little bit curious about uh, what those what those parts are going to do for us. Um, right, it's in the Pewtis Templar isn't going to offer us any, uh, oh, what do you mean? This extra dimensional part isn't going to offer us any mutations. That doesn't seem fair. You, t you telling me the, the extra dimensional creature didn't have any mutations? I find that very hard to believe. Well, still, it's a part for the pile. I'm not really sure, um, you know, like I could definitely race to get this golem finished, but I do want to take my time a little bit. So uh, I'm going to end the episode here. I'll go to great, um, eat freehold and, and do a bit more shopping, replenish our metamorphic polygels. Maybe we should uh, try and make some progress on the slinth quest. I know we could hand it in right now, but you know, like I really want to, uh, be able to do get like the 10 dimensional star from it would be really cool um if you are enjoying the series definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy